So for all of you self-proclaimed or actual nerds out there who really want to get into the nitty-gritty of science, um, this little video is going to be for you. So in this video, we're really going to be demonstrating how and why cool sculpting is able to get rid of fat cells in a lasting way. Um, so as we know, because you're interested in cool sculpting, um, most of us have one, two, or multiple areas on our body that for whatever reason, they just don't budge. We diet, we exercise, but for whatever reason, they just don't seem to really shift, um, especially as we age and with certain genetic factors, um, these bulges can become more apparent and also more stubborn. So what cool sculpting does, and this is evidenced by that second image, is it goes in there and it treats a certain percentage of fat cells with cold and it brings those fat cells to a certain temperature. Um, when we're bringing those fat cells to a certain temperature, and you can really see this in image three, those fat cells start to crystallize. It's important for me at this stage to note that other cells and tissues, they are not nearly as sensitive to cold as a fat cell is, and so that's why those are left unharmed, where the fat cell is crystallized and really set up to die. Um, so in that first image on the bottom left, you will see the indication that the treated fat cells are going to die through a natural cell death process, which is called apoptosis. Um, and those fat cells, although they die in about two to three days, they do take two to four months to actually flush out of your body. And as you can see in that center bottom image, um, the fat layer thickness is really going to reduce by 20 to 25 percent every time you do a cold sculpting treatment. So many of our clients just have a small thin layer that they want to reduce and others are kind of in a debulking stage where they want a much more dramatic reduction and so they can do multiple rounds of cool sculpting. And then the cool sculpting is going to actually kill those fat cells as we stated and they're going to flush out of their body through your lymphatic system, uh, urine and waste and it's equivalent to about a french fry a day. And then in that last image you can see all those blue fat cells which were basically saying, hey, these are the ones that have been set up to die, are no longer in that image. The remaining fat cells have compressed and leave a much thinner layer of fat. So in a nutshell, what's happening um, is we're using cryolipolysis, which is essentially just using cold to kill the fat cell. Uh, so it's controlled and it's a gradual process. The fat cell membrane actually is going to stay intact and the treated fat cells are going to die and subsequently they're engulfed and digest digested by macrophages and then the cell parts are eventually and slowly over the course of two to four months removed from the body. And once that fat cell is gone, it is gone for good, which is wonderful. Um, so I'm going to show you a little bit of imagery here. On the left-hand side, you can see a baseline of a fat cell. This is at normal temperature. Obviously, there's going to be nothing to see here because this is what our fat cells look like on a daily basis. And the right image is going to show what happens as that fat cell cools. Um, so in this particular image, of course, you're not going to see anything out of the ordinary because the fat cells are at the normal temperature of that 30 degrees Celsius. So once we go to 10 degrees Celsius, you can see there are a few parts um, on that right image that now have some of those like shiny and crystal coloring, and that is just indicating that those fat cells are starting to crystallize and get cold enough to be set up for death. This is at 3 degrees Celsius, so again, you can see that more of those fat cells are starting to be negatively impacted by the cold and are going to become crystallized and set up for apoptosis. This is at zero degrees Celsius, so we can see many more of those cells are starting to be negatively impacted. This is at negative three degrees Celsius, so even more visually stunning in the cells that are being impacted by that cold. This is at negative six degrees Celsius, so this is exciting because we see more and more fat cells and a bigger percentage of the fat cell being damaged by that cold. And this is at negative nine degrees Celsius. So those images really just show the transformation of the fat cell from a regular temperature all the way down to negative nine degrees Celsius, which is what the technology brings your fat cell to. Um, this is a great image just to see that reduction in fat layer. On the left-hand side, you can see that that fat layer is 2.05 centimeters. In the right-hand side, which is after 90 days, you'll see that that fat layer is 1.41 centimeters. So clearly there has been a physical reduction in the thickness of the fat layer. Um, and this is just another great visual that shows you after that 90 days, that the fat layer on that right hand side you could see was two centimeters and now it's one centimeter, um, which really is indicative of a wonderful reduction of those fat cells, the compression of the remaining fat cells so that you can have undeniable results. Hope that helped.
with all of you who are a little bit nerdy and like scientific explanations. This is Jess at Botify, and we can't wait to have you in and see if cool scoping's a fit.